Hello, my name is Tim, my company is Sports and Touring, and we are Performance Jaguar Specialists. It's my special privilege to show you this car. It's an XKR, of course, it's a 2012 model with low mileage and good history, and finished in stunning Italian racing red, just like the car that Jaguar chose for the front cover of the 2012 XK range brochure. Let's take a look around. So the Jaguar XKR, a powerful, luxurious, and very beautiful thing indeed. A vehicle which matches speed and looks and a driving experience which is nothing short of thrilling. A vehicle which is designed on the back of Jaguar's heritage, of course, a heritage built on racing, a heritage which began maybe with engineering and speed and then added refinement and luxury to its portfolio. And through the years, Jaguar have developed their own style of design, which has adapted to the passing years, but always kept its feet firmly planted in the desire to offer sleek aesthetics and designs which I dare say age particularly well. This does not look like a car of times other than now. And the way that Jaguar have achieved that with their design, I think, is one of their cleverest things. And then having waxed lyrical about the XKR in general, let's talk about this one. It's a vehicle in stunning condition. I really am so very, very pleased to have it here. The beautiful Italian racing red paintwork, a very rare colour indeed, is fabulous. It's sitting on these beautiful 20-inch Kalimnos wheels which have just been freshly refurbished and that's a full bare metal and powder coating oven finish as would happen when the wheels were originally manufactured so they are in perfect order. The tyres are extremely good, everything about the car is working correctly, it has flown through our arrival inspections and test drives and so forth and it is waiting to please its next owner, who may well be a collector, I dare say. Let's take a look inside. The car's supplied, of course, with two remote key fobs, but provided that you have got a key fob about your person somewhere, there's no need to have it in your hand when you wish to get into the car, because simply grasping and pulling the door handle unlocks the door. The power fold mirrors move into position and we can take in this beautiful cockpit. Starting with the door card, where we can see this lovely warm charcoal leather with the contrast stitching there, the controls for the full multi-way memory seats, the Bowers and Wilkins sound speaker there at the bottom of the door card. It's a multi-speaker system with tweeters, mid-range and bass speakers around the car. There's the tread plate in excellent order and these beautiful seats with this perforated leather. And the reason it's perforated is that these seats are not only heated, but cooled as well. And those perforations are necessary in order to let the cooling air flow through the seat material. Stepping down into an XK is always a splendid experience. The combination of aesthetics and technology and especially the ergonomic way that the car is laid out that the cockpit is laid out is really impressive behind us of course we've got the rear seats now they are not uh seats that you're going to use for a long journey with four adults on board it's definitely a two plus two but if you're at the restaurant you bump into friends and you want to offer them a lift home uh, provided it's a short journey you will find them more than adequate for that in the centre console here, we've got a handy stowage with USB and iPod uh, connectors and a little box there to put your belongings together with the two drinks holders. And conveniently, the armrest slides back to reveal the drink holders, but if you don't need to put your drinks there, it slides forward 
and makes the cockpit even neater. Various controls in the centre console here, and to explore them, let's start up the V8, the supercharged V8, five litres of Jaguar power, and we'll watch what happens as we do so on the dashboard. You see the headlamps there did, our, did their little agility test. The instrument binnacle springs to life. The revs are high at the moment because the engine is protecting the catal catalytic converter by maintaining high revs for a short while after the first start from cold. And then coming back here to the centre console, we've got, of course, the electronic parking brake. Driving modes, we have dynamic mode, normal mode and rain, ice and snow mode. We've got the active speed limiter and traction control off. This rotary switch which enables us to select the gearbox modes including drive and sport and there we are if I select those two buttons together we have drive and sport dynamic mode is confirmed there on the instrument binnacle and we are ready for a thrilling experience on the road or indeed I dare say even on the track. Back into park and we can see that we have dual zone climate control, a very fully featured infotainment system, uh, starting here with the home screen with the heated and cooled seat controls and the control there for the heated steering wheel, a wonderful thing to have in a British winter. It really makes a very big difference. Audio wise, there are multiple sources to select AM and FM, DAB radio, CD and portable radio, including iPod and USB connections. Going back to the home screen, we can see the climate screen where we can synchronize the two temperatures together and control the other functions around the car, including the air conditioning, which blows, of course, icy cold in this vehicle. Going home again and into the phone screen and we have full Bluetooth telephony with controls on the steering wheel. Then satellite navigation, which has a clear map. It's got good direction giving capability uh, and voice guidance as well. And finally, of course, there's a screen for the vehicle settings where we can explore the various settings that we need around the car. Over here on the steering wheel, controls for the uh, infotainment and Bluetooth on the left. Flappy paddles, naturally, either side of the steering wheel, one for shift up, one for shift down, so that you can change gear without taking your hands off the wheel while manoeuvring. There are the automatic headlamps, and over here we've got cruise control and the rain-sensitive wiper system. It's a beautiful place to be. It's, it's very luxurious and comfortable, but on the other hand, you are in no doubt that you're here in a serious performance machine as well. And the driving experience is just sublime. The way that this relatively large car manages to go fast and cling to the road and communicate what's happening between tarmac and tyres through to you as the driver is very impressive indeed. Let's take a look in the boot. Well, the XKR, of course, is a grand tourer, not a sports car, and that means it's for covering distances. European road trips, maybe. And therefore, it has a large boot. This is a big space. And provided that you pack soft bags, you could easily set off for a couple of months away without being embarrassed for luggage space. It extends right out behind the rear wheel arches and under the boot floor. There is another large stowage area where, as you can see, we have the tyre kit at the moment. More than ample for use either as a touring car or as your daily driver. You'd get an enormous amount of shopping in this boot, I dare say. The passenger side of the car, equally impressive. The door card is pretty well as it left the factory. The dashboard, carpet, carpet mat, and the beautiful leather seat with the R logo there on the headrest, all in perfect order. Looking around the car at some of the detail and these beautiful chrome air scoops feeding in in front of the front wheels. The headlamp assembly, which is a great piece of design. These lovely 
air vents on top of the engine with the supercharged logo on. We've already seen the wheels. The side vents there with the Jaguar logo. And one of my favourite parts of these cars is the rear haunch. The way that the body line goes over the rear wheels. Speaking of power and grip and speed. At the back, of course, these beautiful stainless quad exhaust pipes and the spoiler, which not only looks great, but it genuinely does help with stability at high speeds, providing downforce and keeping the back end of the car firmly planted onto the road. Little practical things like these small mud guards, which just protect the rear end of the car from anything possibly thrown up by the rear wheels. And the lovely chrome surround to the windows, which accents so perfectly this luscious red colour. It is a wonderful piece of design, which turns heads wherever it goes. Under the bonnet, and here is Jaguar's five litre supercharged V8 engine. The supercharger lives there on top of the engine, just in the uh, top of the V, as it were. 510 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds, and a top speed artificially limited at 155. And having driven an XKR at very close to that speed, I can say that at high speed, this is an impeccable machine. It's so stable and sure-footed. It delivers agile performance and enormous acceleration on the way there. And again, looking at this example, we can see that everything under the bonnet is in fine order. The service history is good. It's a car that's been looked after. It has uh, passed all of our inspections without issue. It drives perfectly. Everything works exactly as it should. And it is a real pleasure to take on the road. So thank you very much indeed for watching. It's been a great pleasure to show you this beautiful XKR. We are Sports and Touring. We're just outside Andover in Hampshire. We're open seven days a week by appointment only. You're very welcome to email, WhatsApp or telephone with any inquiries. Or if you'd like to see this car either in person or by video call. We will try to be as helpful as we can during your car buying process. Uh, if you've got a vehicle to dispose of, we'll give you frank and honest advice about the best way to do that. And if you'd like to chat about finance, we can help there as well. We're authorised and regulated by the FCA. Do please take a few moments to have a look at our reviews in Auto Trader. I'm ever so proud of how our previous customers speak about us. And I'll close by saying I'll hope to hear from you very soon.